I bet you know what this place is called, CJ Boats, and we're rolling in, baby, and we have something special today. So as we're entering the uh, brand new boat dealership, uh, we have a brand new boat that just came in. You guys have probably seen it, but it never was working on the trailer. What happened is we have a modder that made it so it can actually work. So these motor yachts right here work. Ian, what, whose truck is this, man? It's my lease. I just went to the Ford dealership this weekend. You leased... A brand new F450 Lariat? A Lariat? How much is that? 600 a month. 600? Yep, and Ooh, the insurance is pretty. Because usually I drive a Range Rover, so this is a truck. It's a lot of big step up. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. You're going to be able to pull... Wait, oh my god, the F450? What is the... There's like 36,000 pound towing capacity? Yeah, this thing has got to... Yep, it, it can tow a lot of stuff. It's a new boat. Yep, these are the new, uh, I don't know too much about them. Bolt is the one who brought them, brought one in, and then a semi brought one in last night. So okay. Bolt's been here overnight. He lives in the shop, obviously. Morning, Bolt. How did you sleep Why? last night? Good. That's good, man. Is the, is, the, is the loft still doing good for you? Or? Yeah, it kind of loud some nights. Okay. Why is it loud some nights? There's no insulation. It's like there. tin. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah, I, it's like a pole barn kind of deal. Yeah, I got you. Just got the spec sheet. It's a 39 foot cruiser motor yacht. Um, and then it's got a 700 horsepower single screw. Okay. Only 700. Yeah, but it, it'll get up there. Kind of more of a baseline kind of starter yacht. I mean, I know a yacht's a yacht, but still. Yeah. Is it technically a cruiser? What do you call it? Uh, probably just a cruiser. I and mean, you can sleep down okay. below if you wanted to. More of a day cruiser. So. Got you. Yep. Maybe uh, af express boat. Cool beans. Do skis, are skis able to hook up to the back of here? or uh... Probably not. Probably pretty dangerous. Yeah, I was just wondering if you could do that. Yeah, but uh, it's pretty big. It's a good boat. God dang, yeah, it is big. It looks like a good American boat, doesn't it, boys? Yep, two bedrooms, two bath. Two bed, two bath. Well, um, let's hook up the old F450. Let You want to get at least one in the water? Does it matter which one we take? Uh, No, I think... I think uh, I could just I think they're both same, so I'll hook up to one and see if okay. they sink into it. Okay, cool. And then we'll be on skis. Whoever wants to drive the the cruiser. Um, yeah, cool. yeah, when did we get this? Um, I what the heck, man? Myself, but I can share. Wow, this thing's uh, kitted out to the nines. I kind of bought it for myself to drive around the shop. I've I've never but... seen a body kit like this, like the door panels and stuff. Is that all aftermarket or? Yes, a lot of it. Okay. Have a hitch on that. My goodness. We could pull a ski with this baby. Go to a jet ski over there. Or at least in the back room. Yeah. I can hook up to one. I'm gonna get okay. the yacht launch and then I'll uh, I'll see you guys once it's in the water. Yeah, dang, sounds good, Ian. I'll get us all waters and a couple juice boxes for you. Oh, thanks. I love those. Yeah, no problem, man. Are they Let's grape? See you back that sucker up. Yep, grape. All Don't right. worry, I got Alright, I'll see you there. Alright, All right, we're gonna get hooked up to uh, the gooseneck hitch. There we go, right about there is good. And we're ready to go put this bad boy in the water. This thing is sweet. Bolt's got a jet ski over there, so we're gonna get these two uh, two boats in the water. Yeah, we're gonna get these two in the water, and then we're gonna put them to the test, so they actually are working pretty well. So let's get this boy launched, and then uh, we'll go drive it around. Oh boy, there's Spencer doing some wheelies in the F450. Wow. That thing uh, it can pop wheelies. That's pretty cool. Uh, but we have the one motor yacht launched in the water over there. I just threw the anchor on land, got it in uh, in the sand, so it's it's anchored and it's going to be floating there for a little bit. And then I think we'll put the second one in, or we're just going to switch off. I might ride a ski, and then we'll, we'll try out the uh, motor boat. But you saw me unload it from the trailer there, so that works out pretty good. The boat is uh, in the water, so let's go talk to the guys, and let's get going on the water today. How was it backing the boat up and everything? How do you, how do you like the truck? It actually works pretty good, but it, it it was heavy. It was a big load. Yeah, I noticed you were squatting quite a bit. But me just pulling out, I didn't feel anything when you pulled the trailer out. That was nice. Yeah, it, it actually unloaded pretty nice. It had no problems. Slid right out of the trailer. Sounds good. Bolt, did you get the skis dropped? Yep. For both ends. Should we get off to the water and then uh, open up the juice boxes? Yeah, for sure. Bolt, you bring your speedo? No. I got here, here, catch. I got one for you. Whoa, okay. I don't want to know. American flag. It's a little tight. Okay, I'll hop on a ski and then we'll get out there and uh, party. All right, sounds good. I mean work, sorry. Go to the middle of the lake. Look at this thing drive. It actually works pretty good with the single screw. We're just in gear right now, so we're going to putz along and then we'll get going. So Spencer's going to take off any second. 
and then we're gonna switch on. Ian, how did you like it? It runs pretty good. It it gets on plane pretty fast. Here, I'm gonna tie up to you real quick. Yeah, I'm moving around. It's pretty choppy out. Here, throw your anchor. There we go. You drop it. Yep, should be good. All right, grab this line here. There we go. Tie on the cleat. How was the ride over? It was good. I you should ask Bolt, man. He uh, he did. It didn't look like he had too good of a ride over. Um, it was great. <laughs> no, no, man. I saw you wipe flip. out. That's a great flip. I oh. did on purpose. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you. Did. Good thing it's just a rental, right? Yeah. This swim uh, platform is pretty nice. Nice, uh, a lot yeah. of room. No, it's uh, it's super nice. And it has two anchors, one in the front and one in the back. Yeah, in case uh, it's windy, you don't want to change directions. You just throw that one. You're good. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, do you guys want to? drive it around for a little bit we maybe go and do a donut around the lake yeah no we can just take a lap but i just want to make sure it's running good and i kind of wanted to st like, get in here when it was actually on the water so i had a high water alarm on the way over uh i think it's just a sensor error so i think we have to replace that really? yeah we'll have the uh it's a brand new boat so sometimes there's problems with it you know yeah so hmm. we'll have him look at it the mechanic well he's already here but well, Bolt, you think you can fix that sensor? It. Water is too shallow for this boat. Okay. Gotcha. That's the reason your sensor is going off. It's only like... I think it's like five know, feet or something. Yeah. Yeah, I was. Uh, I had to go when I was trailering it in, the water. Backing it in, it was. I had to go on the deep side because it was shallow. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And it, it hasn't rained in a while, but yeah, I'm going to untie. We'll get jumping off here. We'll just we'll just follow you, man. That okay. looks great. Cool, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys once we get back to the boat dealership. All right, we're just now getting away from our spot that we anchored at. So let's do a little bit of uh, some fun turns here. So what, I, what I like to do is I like to gun it, and then I like to turn super fast like that. And we kind of do a little bit of a drift, and I get uh, soaked, so it's pretty fun. Let's get up close and look how good that thing looks when it's running. It seems to be really cool. going to rip around the lake a little bit. Oh, boy, Bull just flew past us there. And that yacht looks good on the water. It's one of the biggest ones in Farm Sim, so... Biggest yacht and farming simulator, guys, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the sea dew in, and then I think we'll uh, get everything pulled out. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to see what we're going to do. Uh, but I have some paperwork to finish up, and then uh, I think we're going to head home and watch the football. We hopped in the good old F450, and we're going to get the trailer back down. Spencer says he wants to pull it out of the water, so we're going to get this one in the water, and then uh, I think we'll get it pulled out of the water because we don't want to get the hull too dirty because uh, it can get pretty dirty in the lake. It's got a lot of... Uh, mildew and stuff in the water. How was it when you came on the trailer? It was it wasn't bad. I was a little more nervous. I did have to take two runs at it, but it's uh, why the F, thank goodness you got that for. I don't know what else we'd be pulling it with. It worked out pretty good. It was pretty fast and smooth. You just load that thing right on and pulled it out. Yeah, no, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, but it is quite a bit bigger. Wasn't totally used to it, but having the two engine throttles really helped me steer. So yeah, uh, do you think we should clean the bottom with the power washer? I mean, it was pretty dirty in the lake. Yeah, yeah, we should clean up just in case something, you know, we get quite a bit of sun in the building just just to make sure we don't get any mold or algae growing on the bottom. Yeah, do you want to grab the power washer around and we'll uh, get it cleaning? Yep, for sure. Cool. I should honestly let you do it. You're the professional pressure washer. All right, yeah, I'll get it cleaned up pretty good. But uh, we got to get some bottom paint for it, too, so it's not too dirty. Yeah, we could, for sure. Once we get in the showroom and everything, it'll be, we'll get her looking good. Cool. All right, I think it's... Uh, Looking pretty good. So, what do you have to do the rest of the day? I gotta do a little bit. I have a conference call with Master Mastercraft. Okay. About that sponsorship deal we're running for like the kids under 18. They're gonna come out and do some some wakeboarding lessons. Or okay. it's gonna be like a mini camp with one of the uh, semi-pro wakeboarders. The new model coming. I think they might do a commercial here at the boat dealership. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be. That'd so be I think really they're. Cool. I think they're gonna shoot a commercial here in the next couple of months or something. So that'd be pretty okay. cool. Okay. Yeah, I never heard anything about that. So yeah, that should uh, that should be fun. So we'll get a good thing going for that. We get back on that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll put the uh, boat away and then I'll I have some paperwork to do. So I'll finish that up right, and uh, yeah, should be good. Nice new truck, man. Looks good. Yeah, thanks. It works great. All right, got the F450 firing that six seven liter power stroke diesel up right now. And then we're going to put the boat away um, right next to the other one. And then I think we're going to do some paperwork on the computer uh, about that uh, new commercial they're going to shoot for Mastercraft. There's a knob down there that helps with trailering that the uh, this F450 has for towing package. So it works pretty nice. And uh, we just twist it and it turns the wheel for us. So it's actually a really nice feature to have when we're backing down. 
Alright, and we're loose, so let's go ahead and put this boy up, and then let's go park it up over here. But, anyways guys, that's gonna end it for today's video. We got done with our paperwork, and we're just about heading out for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please help me out by subscribing, because at the end of the month, if we hit 2,000 subscribers, we're gonna do a live stream. Uh, so it'll be five hours long, which would be a really great challenge for us on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.